Hi everybody, Deborah Dickinson here, Bandit Down There. Thank you for being on my channel. So today is laundry day. I don't know of anybody that goes, oh boy, let's do laundry. <laughs> Maybe there are some, I don't know if, you, if you're one of them, let me know in the comments below. But I shared in my book how being a nomad saved my life at least one of my childhood trauma stories around a laundromat. I don't know if I shared or not about the time, I can't remember, but I don't know if I shared or not about the time um, a stepfather stuffed me in a, a dryer that was actually going, and uh, that was a whole, whole mess of an evening you can only imagine. Cops got involved and everything. But uh, as you can also imagine, <laughs> Going to the laundromat is not my favorite thing. <laughs> One of my things that I miss the most about sticks and bricks is having my washer and dryer, but that's okay. I, it's, it's one of the prices you pay out here, and I know that there are portable washers, washing machines, and, and y'all have seen me do it by hand. That for me is much preferable over going to the laundromat. But today I thought I'd share with you why it has its challenges in adulthood for me with my brain injury. Stay tuned. Okay, first of all, there's the whole getting ready to go. <laughs> which at minimum involves undoing the Starlink and the solar for the Starlink and uh, locking down the rig to get ready to roll. And then I've got other errands I need to do as well, including trash. need to get water. I have some things I want to drop off at the thrift center. propane the usual stuff that doesn't include going to the laundromat which is my big bane of existence one of the trickiest things about this laundromat is that it's sometimes very hard to get parking hopefully and it looks like I'm in luck some of the crowd has thinned out and I will be able to park over here in the large RV parking. We'll see how it goes. The first thing I have to do is feed my dog. I forgot to feed him this morning. Holy Moses. Do you forgive mama for not feeding you? Hmm? Do you forgive mama for not feeding you? Are you hungry? Well, that got your attention, didn't it? Are you ready to eat? Yeah? No? Maybe? Jacket stuff. Mm -hmm. 
What's that good stuff, little boy? Yeah, that was good stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. As I was gathering up the rest of my laundry, <laughs> I found, uh, I spilled my allergy pills this morning. I found two more. So I took time to sweep and move things to make sure there's none left for Bandit to get. I know it seems like five of these large loaders and then six loads of dryers is a lot, but you have to remember that I am washing everything that I own, including linens. And the way that I keep track of it is I use an app called Bear Notes, B-E-A-R, and I write down on Bear each, lawn, each washing machine that I use and each dryer that I use so that I can make sure I leave the laundromat with all of my things. And then that way too, I make sure that I am within budget. I budget $40 a month for laundry. Hey you guys, look who I ran into, Tiffany. Yeah. Also known as? I think you have social media oh, to tell I them do, about. Oh, I do. I have a YouTube channel, The Camper Tales, and Instagram. It's yep. just me and all my dogs yep. traveling around. And yep. absolutely fabulous. Oh, thank you so much. A little bit warm, as you can tell. But I have the fans going in here and all the windows open, so Bandit is okay. In fact, it is only 74 degrees in here, so he is good. Just want y'all to know that. Sorry I look like such a wreck, but this is me on laundry day. My goal is to get it done. My timer says I have about 15 minutes before I have to be back in to put things in the dryer. So I defrosted hamburger patties last night, my second set. Uh, the first set, I'm embarrassed to say, did not get cooked because of my TBI episode. So I defrosted some hamburger patties and I am going to cook those and then go in and put things in the dryer. Oh, looky here, looky here, looky here. This is such an awesome surprise. I saw your truck pull up next to me. Oh, I thought I was being stealth. <laughs> Cheryl brought me and Jenna, frugal RV gal, mm -hmm. gifts that Suzanne had dropped off to her. Did y'all follow all that? <laughs> <laughs> well, Suzanne had to leave Quartzsite early and she wasn't going to make it to your camp with me for your Coco fam. You're going to be Miss Suzanne. I know. So she just asked me if I would deliver some little gifts and I did. Yeah, so that's so sweet. And um, I'll ask her if it's okay if we share them, but I haven't asked her yet, so I'm not gonna share those. And uh, you got yourself something today that you just went and picked up. I did. I am so, it's dangerous. I'm becoming a boondocker. I picked up my first lithium battery at the post office this afternoon. So good, good friends are gonna help me install it. Yeah. And, uh, I'm very excited. <laughs> That's the thing out here. It's such a loving community yes. and, and we just all support each other and love each other and try our best to take care of each other. And I'm so happy mm -hmm. for you. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> Hi, little buddy. Hi, little buddy. Did you throw your bed on the ground? Uh, okay. Laundry is done. Ran by the store, got the things for Jana that she needed or wanted, needed. And in flying home, I'm not speeding. You can see it's just barely trickling by. I don't have the dust flying by me. But I'm, I'm running home, running back to camp because, uh, let's see, I'm filming this on a Friday. Don't know when you're seeing it, but my F and L starts in exactly, exactly eight minutes. I pulled into camp and didn't even go back to my normal parking spot past Jenna. I just pulled up next to her. She had everything ready and I ran and got in my chair 
plugged my phone in and had two minutes to spare. So, yeah, and the uh, 